Greetings, folks, and I'm Phil Too Real, and you're watching the Crash Bandicoot 2 Wrath of Cortex. Not Wrath of Cortex. Cortex Strikes Back playthrough uh, on the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. It's a collection of remakes from the original PlayStation 1 Crash games. This is my favorite of the three, Crash Bandicoot 2. But uh, it's going to be a really special playthrough for me. But I'll stay a little bit silent for the movie here, and I'll catch you guys in a minute. Meanwhile, in the Legion of Doom. The Dr. Cortex. To reach full power, we need not only your master crystal, but also the remaining 25 slave crystals from the surface. How do you expect to retrieve them when we don't have any Earthbound operatives left? You fool! Do you think I'm unaware of the situation? If we don't have any friends left on the surface, then we'll need to find an enemy. Crash! Crash! Dad! My battery is fried! Make yourself useful, big brother, and bring an extra battery for me! And we're back, folks. And this is Crash Bandicoot and his sister Coco. And Coco's being going to be a mainly a supporting role in this game, with uh, with one huge exception in this remake. Uh, we'll talk about that when we get to World Two. But Crash Bandicoot, he's our protagonist, and this is a platformer, very much. Um, I would say kind of like Mario in a way, because uh, he uses head to bash and crates in the air um, that's one big similarity you can spin to take out crates you can spin to take out enemies you can jump to take out enemies it provide you hit them with your feet and you can belly flop there which is a very nice attack and then the slide jump which you're going to see me doing a lot and we're going to be warped to the hub or the warp rooms if you want to call it and we're going to see a little conversation with crash and neo cortex here well 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 if it isn't crash back Yep, that's mine. Welcome. Thank you. I apologize for the crude means used to bring you here, but I'd rather expect a written invitation would have been turned down. Mm, nothing's so. helped. I need your help. Ooh, mm, looks like it. Surrounding you are a series of five doors. You don't say. Through each door lies a well-hidden crystal. Ooh. Mm. The crystals look like this. Ooh, bring shiny. The crystals crash. That is all I will say for now. We will speak again. That's not something we should ask for a person's help, you know. Anywho, uh, yeah. So every so often, when we finish some of these levels, we'll get some banner between uh, Cortex. Well, I guess really just Cortex and Crash, but uh, and some of the other characters who talk to Crash. But first level is going to be Turtle Woods, and I'm going to go ahead and leave the loading screen here this one time because it says that uh, a special reward will be found if we are nice to crates. So. What I'm going to do here first is I'm going to go through this entire level and not hit a single crate. And uh, what this is going to do is this is going to give us a special reward at the end. And in Crash Bandicoot, the the items that we're going to collect in every single level uh, are the crystals, which Cortex told us about, and also gems. And gems come in two flavors. There are clear gems, which are the majority. I think there's 42 gems all together in this game and 37 of them I believe are clear and uh, or white whatever you want to call them and then the other remaining five are colored crystals uh, yellow blue red green and purple and special conditions have to be fulfilled to get uh, the colored gems but the clear gems um, are collected a number of ways but uh, the most common way is to break every single crate in the level and then go on some extracurricular uh, paths in this game such as death routes, um, gem routes, uh, the color gem routes I should say. 
um, alternate pathways, that sort of thing. But yeah, that's a crystal we just got, and that's going to be our main plot in MacGuffin. If you just want to go through the game and complete it, you need to just collect all 25 crystals. But if you want to get the good ending in the game, you need to get the crystals and the gems. And there we got the blue gem because we did not break a single crate. I'm just going to go ahead and die. That way I can avoid having to um, go through the hub and all that. So since I died and I didn't collect the checkpoint, I'm starting from all the way to the beginning. And now I can go through the level proper and break these uh, crates and get my clear gem. At the end. And those boxes right there, the ones that have like little, uh, I guess, see-through grates, uh, give you some extra wampa fruit. Wampa fruit is those little fruits I've been collecting and for every 100 you get like Sonic, like Mario, um, actually no I don't think it's like Mario, um, off the top of my head. Uh, when you get 100 you, yeah you do it, uh, Mario. It's been a long time since i played some Mario but um, when you collect 100 you get an extra life and belly flop on that little thing right there and you can go down here and I would say for the first three worlds of Crash, uh, it's going to be relatively easy. Um, it's, I would say it's pretty tame, but once we get to the last two tiers of levels, the fourth tier and the fifth tier, uh, the difficulty tends to wrap up a lot. So you'll see me get extra lives really quick, and they really throw the extra lives at you in Crash Bandicoot 2, and I would also say uh, 3, <clears throat> but... Uh, Crash Bandicoot's movement uh, moves pretty pretty normal speed, I feel. And then if you really want to get some distance on your jumps, you can do a slide, which is the same button. I'm trying to think. Uh, it's actually on my controller. It would be B. Uh, you push B, and then as soon as you slide, you can push to jump, and you get an extra height. I can see me do there. Because if you don't do that slide jump, you're not going to be able to get off of those... Um, uh, flamingo bags before they go down and once they're down um, I think it's you can't get back up there unless you do what I call um, a special spin uh, dash jump or slide jump which um, I'll show that here in a little bit but uh, you hit that green exclamation box and you'll take out all the nitros and nitros are very dangerous so those green boxes you saw earlier that in this game they made them extra deadly in this version of the game anyways uh, if you just touch them they're gonna explode Crash Bandicoot without a Aku Aku mask, which is what you see floating there around me. Um, he's very fragile. You you touch an enemy, you touch any sort of most environmental hazards, Crash will bite the big one. And one interesting thing about Crash Bandicoot is it's very Looney Tune esque. Um, when Crash dies, you get some pretty funny animations. Um, some more funnier than others. Others kind of like Plain Jane. Um, but yeah. So we got through a bonus room there, and the bonus rooms, um, you'll you'll have a counter on the bottom for, for boxes, and that's the main thing you want to be careful about, because you only get one go at the bonus rooms if you complete them. Um, you can die in the bonus rooms, you won't lose any lives, but um, but yeah, um, and then these turtles right here, um, you can jump on their backs, you just don't touch them from the side or slide them because they have spikes, um, and. Yeah, you take out the checkpoint box, you get a checkpoint, that kind of good stuff. Break these boxes, and break, break through in their aqua aqua mask. And what you see me doing there, I'm trying to do a, um, a slide and spin jump. Um, you slide, you jump, and as you're jumping, you can spin, and then you can get a little bit extra height out of your jump. And that's kind of nice for some of the trickier uh, platforming sections. Um, it's not real, at least I don't remember it being in the... Um, in the uh, manual back in the old PlayStation 1 version of this. I just remember it um, being something I kind of discovered it my own way. And it seems that a lot of people um, kind of discovered it that way. Um, and I don't remember it ever being explained in the uh, guide I bought for Crash Bandicoot 2 way back when, which is how I found out a lot about a lot of this stuff. But that's our, clear, our first clear gem, which you get through breaking all the boxes. And we're going to teleport into the hub. And uh, I'm going to cut out all the loading times in this game for the most part uh, I left a few in the beginning but I'm going to be cutting out all the loading times in this game and as you see there Crash has a very interesting way of getting gems and um, crystals from his back pocket or body we shall say and here's another message from our great Neo Cortex well done Crash hey, thank you. I knew I could rely on you All right, now listen carefully these holograms are hard to maintain. Mm, During the like course it. of my intellectual pursuits, 
I have stumbled across a force that threatens to destroy the world. Mm, you know what I'm the crystals are the only means of containing it. The fate of the world is at stake. It is imperative, therefore, that you bring them to me. Mm. This sounds very evil. Hey, Coco! Crash, crash, crash. Are you there? I'm down here. Why can't you see me? Okay, I'm not going to do the Crash Bandicoot voice. I really kind of changed my voice. But, um, we'll talk about that when we get to uh, a particular level. But, um, the times I just popped up there. But, um, uh, next level we're going to do is Snow Go. And Let's A Go. And, uh, some of these level names are really very funny in the pun department. I really do like it. But, uh, so TNT is one of our new boxes right there. Um, if you jump on top of it, it starts a countdown of three. And when you get three Aku Aku masks, you become invincible. It's very much like in the Starman in, um, or I guess a star, in, uh, in Mario, getting invincibility in Mario, in Mario, and uh, Sonic. Um, you get a fair amount of time. I'd say about like 10 seconds, maybe five. I'd say 10 seconds of uh, invincibility where you just run and stuff and you won't take any sort of damage. And when Aku Aku is goldish like that, you can take two hits and you won't die. These penguins, you either want to jump on them um, or spin into them when they're not spinning. Otherwise, you're going to die. And that, um, not looking forward to my least favorite level in this game, which is also a ice, ice level. And the ice levels here, um, pretty tame. I gotta say, the ice mu the ice uh, level music, it doesn't really feel like an ice level to me, but. Uh, still some pretty fun levels, um, except for one in particular, um, whose name I will not mention till we get there, but, uh, the bonus level here, you're going to be getting boxes, getting a lot of Wampa free, and you're going to be subjected to some ice fizz here, and the ice fizz can crash, uh, it takes some getting used to, um, but mainly the momentum, um, he does take a bit of time to get some speed, but one of the things you do not want to do is you don't want to slide um, unless you're used to the physics. And even then, I try not to slide while I'm in the ice. But 10 boxes there. We're going to go up. And then we're going to avoid that nitro. We're going to hit this little exclamation box. And those exclamation boxes will make boxes fill in. Um, so it's kind of necessary if you want to get all the clear gems, all the gems in the game. We're going to get in our Aku Aku mask so we can uh, get an invincibility. Run towards the screen and hit the little green nitro box detonator right there. And then don't forget to get the crystal right there. We need that. Um, and then you should be careful about the pits. But otherwise, it's a pretty tame level. Those boxes right here, you can uh, fill them in with the exclamation mark box that's right above here. It's really hard to see. Um, take out those. And then we're going to continue on. Penguins are going to drop right here. Our seals, I should say. We got these bo remaining boxes here. We got all the all the boxes for the clear box gem. And in this level, there's a red gem, but we can't get it. We have to go through a hidden pathway to get it in a, in a later level. So don't worry about the red gem. I remember in the PlayStation, PlayStation version, there was a way to get the red gem a lot earlier. Um, but they took that that ability out in this game and every time you get a nice nifty crystal or gem i think it's mainly the gems crash do a little bit of a dance right there and this right here is nitrous brio one of the villains from the previous game Ooh, i'm not even saying i'm not trying to help but he's kind of holding me hostage here. well crash know this as long as you are allied with Cortex, you are my sworn enemy. Who did I say I was his ally? <laughs> oh, that's gonna be a thumbnail. The world is truly your concern. You must dig it, gather the gems, not the crystals. If you obtain all 42 gems, I can use them to f f focus a laser. Ah, yes, a laser beam that will destroy Cortex and the space station he has created. Until then, I must use my forces to stop you <laughs> from gathering crystals. <laughs> yeah, most definitely a uh, thumbnail image. <laughs> but um, that was Nitrous Brio. Um, he was one of the villains from Crash 1. Um, in my opinion, I love his character. Um, even though we only get like a few interactions with him in this game. I love his character in here so much. He's so, he's funny. Um, so this is Hangate. Um, and Hangate has a special requirement for a clear gem. 
you have to finish this level in a certain amount of time. Um, you'll see a timer on the bottom right here, I believe. Yeah. So we have a minute to finish this level. And I'm also not going to get a um, checkpoint box because I want to collect the gem and I'm going to die on purpose to restart the level because that's just how I roll. If I can avoid it, um, I try to get the, all the gems in one go in the levels unless I absolutely can't do it or um, it's just not doable. And that blue gem right there, um, that's the blue gem pack that we collect uh, or we can take once we collect the blue gem for the first level in the game. So without that, we're not going to be able to get the clear gem uh, for the getting all the boxes. Um, so just get through here, um, avoid the mines. You can speed when you're on these wakeboards uh, by pushing the slide button. And then these prom plants, you can just spin into them or you can jump on them. Um, Time it might be a little tricky if this is your first time, but they're very tame. So we're gonna belly the flop or just jump in the water, have crash egg, refreshing dip, and then restart the level proper. And whatever you do, unless you feel very comfortable like doing speed running, little things like that, uh, take your time on here. Um, it looks like I'm making this very easy, uh, but that's because I have a lot of experience in this level, uh, in this, not just this level, but in you know, crash egg. By no means am I an expert in this. You're going to find that really quickly. Well, not really quickly, but in uh, Worlds 4 and 5, uh, once the difficulty wraps up, uh, you're going to start to see some cracks in my uh, play strategy. But for the most part, I'm going to try to try to make it look very professional, <laughs> we shall say. Um, so we get on the bonus platform here. And we're going to get up here. And we have 11 boxes to get. Not very difficult. So just take out those. Uh, and then you can make a decision there. Once you set off the TNT, you can just leave those boxes there to blow up or not. It's up to you. Um, but pretty tame uh, bonus level. You can collect all the one for free if you want, or collect as much of it as you want. But for the most part, um, all you really want to do is just get the 11 boxes in here. That's including the TNT. TNT counts towards the box count. And so does nitrous, but uh, nitrous boxes, but. Um, nitro boxes, you need to hit the exclamation mark to detonate them safely without dying. So, jump on the platform, and you won't be able to fall off the platform until the, you make a safe landing, so don't worry about that. Um, and then you can jump in between these boxes and get the, all the one for free you want. But, um, personally, I like to just break them, but because um, I want to kind of stack them in extra lives, um, I'm going to collect all the one for free I can at the very beginning. Excuse me. And then I'm going to just really, for the most part, not care anymore. These nitrous boxes, I don't like right, right there. Um, in the original Crash game, they didn't jump um, that high if they even did jump at all. I don't remember them jumping. Um, so what we want to do is we want to hit this box right here and then backtrack so we can get those boxes that filled in. And you can just boost all the way through. There were no mines in here. And then go all the way back make sure there's nothing there and then start breaking all these boxes um, and then when you get done with that just go back to the pier just dock really carefully hit the green box right there then the all the nitro jump on the blue gem path um, platform sorry and we can continue on to level proper and we're almost done here I think we got like maybe about 30 seconds left in this level or so um, so just get through here and that's me doing slide jumps right there. So anytime you hear that, that uh, I guess, well, sliding sound because you're sliding, um, you're going to notice I'm doing slide jumps. Um, and this game very rarely, well, I wouldn't say very rarely, but more often times than not, I'm going to slide jump because I just prefer the extra height, um, the extra speed and such. And so we're going to get through here, through there, take out this product plant and belly flop down for some reason, and then collect our last gym in this level and then I'll catch you on the next part guys later bye